Hi, fifth graders. So as you know, last week we worked a lot on synonyms the past couple weeks. So this week we're going to focus and review antonyms. Antonyms. These are words that have the opposite meaning. So they are not equal to each other. So sad and happy are antonyms. Up and down are antonyms. So we're going to work on identifying antonyms in sentences so they have the opposite meaning, okay? And then we're also, because of our tall tale work and to review, you might recall we learned hyperboles um, a while back. This is an example of figurative language because it's not the literal meaning. What is a hyperbole? It's a statement that is exaggerated to make a point. Okay, when something's exaggerated, it's stretched. The truth is stretched. Okay, it's showing something sort of in a dramatic way. So we pronounce this word hyperbole. Say it with me. Hyperbole. Again, hyperbole. Okay, hi, like hello, hi, hyperbole. And if it can happen in real life, it is not a hyperbole. So it cannot happen. It's exaggerated. And finally, um, hyperboles are often used in tall tales. So as you'll see when we read the story um, in the RWW. Here are some examples. We can often exaggerate or use a hyperbole by using a number. I called you a million times and you didn't answer. That's a hyperbole. Okay, no one's going to call somebody a million times. Her smile was a mile wide. Okay, that means it's a really big smile and it's Great because it you can really imagine it. So versus saying she has a big smile, a hyperbole is great because you can really visualize it as well. And it just makes language and writing a bit more exciting. Her smile was, was a mile wide. And finally, I will die of embarrassment if I have to wear that shirt. So this person is not literally going to die, but... You know, we can, it's, it's great to exaggerate and you can think of like how horrible it would be for this person. So hyperboles are what we're going to work on. So you will identify the sentence that has the hyperbole or the part or phrase that is exaggerated. So have fun with this fifth graders. Um, they're often great in tall tales and just to use in writing. And they're often humorous as well. And so it's just a great way to add to our writing and make our writing more exciting.